Hi everyone, this is going to be my video for a tutorial on how to solve parity on cubes bigger than a 3x3 if you use the reduction method. Reduction method is where you reduce the cube to a 3x3. Three three. So this is an edge, this is a corner, This all these four are centers, when, once you reduce it. So, I first I want to give a shout out to some of my fellow YouTubers, Random Incorporated and Bub2112. So, I think you should definitely go check out their channels. Uh, they're both Cubers, and Bub2112 also makes stop motion videos. So, definitely go check them out, and let's get to it. First, we're going to start on the 4x4. There are two methods that I want to sh two algorithms that I want to show you. The first one. Sorry. The first one I want to show you is one called edge for edge parity. So let me just do that right now. Okay. So if you have parity like this on your four by four after you solved it then you should use the algorithm that I'm about to teach you. This is called edge parity, where one edge is flipped around, the corners are flipped. So, here's, here's the algorithm, plain and simple. R2, B2, U2, left, and just remember that left is only this inner layer. Right is only this inner layer. So when I say left, I'm going to do this and only that layer goes down. Okay. To U, right invert it, only that layer. To U, right, to U, to F, right, to F, left invert it, to B, to R. So you just solve that edge parity. I want to put all the all the algorithms I teach you here in the description below. One more thing: this a lot of more parity happens on even sided cubes than odd sided cubes, like five by five. Five by five has I think I've only seen one parity case on it. Four by four has four parity cases. So no, that's five, five parity cases. It has five. So that was one of the parity cases. It was edge parity. The next four are based on the same algorithm, but you have to know PLL for this. If you don't know PLL, I recommend you go learn it, the basic PLL algorithms. There are about, I don't know, about 20, 21, 27, something, something around that area of them. So here's the, main, the basis. The original algorithm is going to have uh, some different notation than the last one. Again, R is just going to be this inner layer. Or like right here, this inner layer. But when I say U, it's going to be this top layer. When I say U star, it's going to be both of these top layers, the whole top half of the cube. So this is the basic, this is the algorithm. It's pretty basic, much easier than the last one. 2R, 2U. 2R, 2U star. 2R, 2U star. If you turn the top twice now to you, you're going to get what I call opposite edge parity, where the edges are switched to their opposite. This should be red, but it's orange. This should be orange, but it's red. So these two edges are switched. So to solve that, you just do the same algorithm I just taught you. Right to R2, U2, R2, U star 2, R2. You start to, and then you spin the top twice. So, back to the opposite edge parity. So, if you get that, just do that algorithm. On the other hand, if you have a parity like this, where two of the edges are adjacent, and they're swapped. This should be blue, but it's red. This should be red, but it's blue. 
and you need to swap them, do a U A perm. No, do a U B perm to swap them into the opposite edge pair edge parity case. Well, I guess it, it depends on which one. Just do a U perm. It's not always a U A or U B. Sorry, I haven't experience, experimented with this so much. So do a U, a U perm. It depends on which one you need to do, and do it in, and do either one like at least twice or once, and you'll get to the opposite edge parity. So if you have. this case, which is uh, which is diag I like to call diagonal corner parity, where these two corners need to be flip-flopped. Here's the algorithm you should do. Do a Y perm. And after that, you're going to get this adjacent edge parity. So now I'm going to do a U perm, and then I just got back, and then after you do the U perm, you do a Y perm, and then a U perm, and then after you're going to have opposite edge parity. So the last case for edge parity involving this algorithm is the adjacent corner parity, where this corner and this corner are flipped. For this, Put both of them on the right and do a T perm. And then you're going to have the opposite edges. After that, just do the 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U star, 2R, 2U star, 2U algorithm. And those are all the possible cases of parity for the 4x4. Four four. I made this method. I originally I made this method myself, except for the first for those first two algorithms. I did all over the rest of the logic using PLL. So that's all for four by four. For five by five, there's only one case of parity where these two, these two edges are flipped, kind of like that first edge parity I showed you, except that the middle one isn't. So for this algorithm, it is basically the same one as the first one I showed you on the 4x4, the one where the edge was flipped. Except that these two layers are right now, not just this layer, and these two layers are L, not just this layer. So, actually, yes, yeah, so if you do that, two right, sorry, my muscles are ready for 4x4, two right, two B, two U, left, 2u, right invert it, 2u, right, 2u, 2f, right, 2f, left invert it, 2b, 2r. You're going to switch a few other edges around, but if, you, if you're doing this, during your edge pairing in the reduction method, it won't matter since you're just going to solve it later. So once you do that, you're going to once you do that algorithm when these this kind of uh, case is found, it'll solve it. So R two, B two, U two, left, U two, right invert it, U two, right, U two. F2, right, F2, left, B2, U2, right 2. Once you do that, you're going to be able to solve the 5x5. Five five. So that's all of the parity algorithms I have for you today. One, some for the 4x4, four four, and one of the ones from the 4x4 four four apply to the 5x5. Five five. Uh, put in the comments below what video I should make next, because... I'm 
I have all these great ideas, except my MoU A Long 2 is not here yet, so some of those videos I can't do yet. I'll also be getting my Tower Cube, as I mentioned before. So, post what you think I should do next, and I'll see you later. Wibbly wobbly timey wire stuff.